Well, I'm here at the Exeter Independence Museum at the Folsom Tavern. Um, here to read a great book. It's called Equality's Call, The Story of Voting Rights in America by Deborah Dyson. And, um, you know, in my role as a member of Congress representing the people of First District of New Hampshire, um, it's always a great opportunity to be able to read a good story. Um, but it's also one that talks about um, how our country through the years has gotten closer to the promise of its founding. And while uh, we are proud of our country, uh, there is more work we have to do to make sure that everyone is included uh, and that everyone's voice can be heard. So um, I'm going to read to you this book here, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I will. Our founders declared when our country began that consent of the governor was part of the plan. Through voting, elections, and representation, the voice of the people would strengthen our nation. In fact, though, for years, this great founding ideal was extended to some, and for others, not real. But we heard the distance, we heard in the distance, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. The states set the rules about who gets a vote, and your gender, your race, and your wealth were of note. White men with property went to the polls, but the rest of the people were left off the rolls. The dream of democracy wasn't yet true. There were changes to make. There was work still to do. But we heard growing clearer, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. The rules about wealth were the first thing to go. As more were enfranchised, their voices could grow. And a small group of voices was raising the fact that enslavement was wrong, an unspeakable act. Good people stood up for the truth that they knew. Abolition and suffrage were long overdue. We heard ever louder equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. There was a war in our nation and slavery ended. Amendments were added. The franchise extended. Now more men could vote, at least so the law said, yet denial through taxes and tests was widespread. And the voices of women were mostly omitted. In only some states was their voting permitted. But nothing could muffle equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. Suffragists didn't give up the fight, and the 19th Amendment gave women the right. But voters of color still met with oppression. Their voting was hindered by brutal suppression. So we passed legislation to make voting fair, to extend and protect voters' rights everywhere. We heard it, we felt it, equality's call. A right isn't right till it's granted to all. The journey's not over. The work hasn't ended. Democracy's dream must constantly be tended. But where we are now is a debt that we owe to the work of more people than we'll ever know. And each time we vote, we acknowledge that past. We honor our rights to ensure that they will last. For to vote is to answer equality's call. And each time we vote, we vote with them all. To learn more about today's story and for some hands-on activities, visit our website, www.independencemuseum.org.